I don't think there's as big a problem as might be uh, apparent at uh, first impression. Uh, Iran only exports about two million barrels, and uh, that's plenty of spare capacity to replace that. Uh, their, their sales are uh, largely uh, to Europe. Europe will not buy anymore. Uh, the same thing with uh, most of the Asian countries. The only issue probably is China. How much will China buy? Uh, their purchases in the past have ranged 300 to 700,000 barrels. But I think the more important point is uh, Iran has the option to go back and look at its uh, um, local or geopolitical uh, strategies. And if it was to back down from its uh, uh, missile programs and nuclear programs and interference in uh, adjacent countries' politics, uh, it could, this whole problem could go away. So really, the, the ball is in Iran's court. It's not about yeah. the oil, it's about Iran's politics. Before we move uh, on to Iran's politics, uh, just quickly, are you saying that because it's quite easy for a number of producers to replace uh, these uh, few million barrels, that today's increase in the oil price is overdone? I think the oil prices have just come back to where they were prior to the OPEC meeting. Um, Saudi Arabia alone uh, could definitely cover a million barrels. Uh, it's done more than that in the past. And there is enough other supply to, to replace all of Iran's uh, uh, oil that would come off due to the sanctions. So, yeah, it is over, an overreaction. I think people are forgetting that most of the consumers have had since May to find alternative supplies, and they have until November, another 90 days. So there's, there's lots of room to, to find alternatives. I know I'm asking you to speculate here, but do you think the administration will kind of put momentum behind the protests we've seen breaking out in Tehran this week and the, the unhappiness in the country over the last couple of months with the collapsing currency, uh, the amount of money they're spending, or, you know, on other skirmishes and so forth? I mean, do you, do you think that is going to be an effective way for uh, the Trump administration to, to ramp up pressure on this regime? Yeah, I think the regime has to pay more attention to its own uh, domestic issues. I think uh, the, the administration has basically drawn a, a line in the sand back in May and is, is sticking to it. And I think the Iranian administration, the, the government in Tehran, has to now take that as a, into serious consideration and uh, do whatever is necessary to both fix their economy but also to become better citizens in the, in the region. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.